What's up everyone, Shiro here and welcome to a brand new Naruto mobile video. Now in the last video I talked about, yeah, look forward to all these character reviews and I decided, well, it's been a while, why not make one right away? So I'm going to make one for the awesome Kamui Kakashi because that's the one I'm looking forward to using as well. He is an awesome character. As always, we're gonna start up with a training match. So let's start that up and you will see shortly why he is awesome he's very good in pvp and pve so we're going to face off against orochimaru and first his basic string one two three four five and he's using the primary lotus so yeah he's basically copying rock lee and guy's move or i see rock lee using it uh, most of the time so it is an awesome move and his string alone makes him very powerful because when you are in the air you can choose where you're going to land so for example if you are in the air no one can hit you and i can just go towards orochimaru and hit him so that's very good now he also has something very unique about him and that is that after every normal attack his second special attack changes, so like this. This is the rock, or maybe two hits. This is the rock type attack. Water, rock again, and wind and fire. Now I'm going to display all of them. First of all, his, let's see, um, I'm going to have to change it up to the Shidori, or Raiki as he calls it. Therefore, yeah, I have to finish the combo in order to get the Raiki. So I have it now. Most of the time, this is what you're going to use, the Raiki combo. Um, over here we have Orochimaru. And from a pretty long distance, he can almost hit him. So not all the way from back of the, the back of the screen, but when you do this, when you're playing PvP, you can hit the opponent. And now I only hit him once, but if I wait for a few seconds and we're going to stop the cooldowns. As you can see it hits him multiple times, keeps him right up in the air, which makes it really easy to combo from this. You can keep on going, and because every time he pushes his uh, opponent, he, he uh, yeah, basically he launches down with his opponent in the primary lotus you can keep on attacking him so he has an un, a really um, strong attack string and you can combine it using a raiki and again there we go i'm used to calling shidori but uh, yeah he uses a raiki so yeah now another one of his attacks and i'm going to do this from quite a distance as well that is kamui attack so he just warps the environment and as you can see he, he also took Orochimaru and he he kind of yeah draws him in so it's it's a really strong attack from quite a distance it hits and you think it's just right in front of him but it's not um, if I do it right here also going to draw him in so you don't have to be exactly on the same line so he has two powerful special attacks um, he has a very good normal combo and everything that he is using combined makes him a very strong character indeed. You can do this and I can do this. Another thing about him, if I do the Kamui attack and someone is using his Kawarimi no Jitsu, uh, the lock attack, because when I'm using it, um, it takes quite a while to finish as you can see. I sometimes hit the opponent that's um, at the back of me. So when Orochimaru is at the back of me and I'm using this one, see, it still draws him in. So it draws him in from the front and the back. And that's, that's just unbelievable because he uses his Kawarimi, so he can no longer use it. And then you trap him again with the Kamui and again you can keep on attacking him. I don't know any other character that can do that. So yeah, as you can see, I'm pretty excited I got him. Because I got him, I can finally do all these PvP things. Um, and uh, yeah, that makes him very useful. Uh, another thing, and yeah, this is going to be a little bit longer uh, tutorial than what you're used to. But still, it's going to be worth it. Okay, uh, that's the Kamui. Okay, this one, 
I think it's the worst of all because he uses his Dotan no Jitsu, so the earth type, but it's not a very strong attack. The only thing it can do is push him upwards and it's also not very long distance. Oh, sorry. I keep on doing Kamui. So if I do a certain combo again, I can... Oh, now original is attacking. I wasn't really trying to do that. I can also do the water style jitsu. Now trying to do all these jitsus, and this is the one uh, from Zabuza of course. Now trying to do all these jitsus <laughs> when you're doing a tutorial is kind of hard, but when you are um, playing the game it feels very natural. Like I said, uh, because when he finishes his combo he always ends up with a Raiki, so you know what, what he's going to do. And when you are just fighting and you see one of the jitsus that you want to use pop up, you can just use it. So there's one last thing. Um, when you are in the air, you can only use the wind jitsu. So he only uses the wind jitsu. This is a wind and fire jitsu combined and I'm going to show you that right now. Okay. Okay now, yes, there we go. Okay. So if I do it right now, he's going to do fire and wind. And when I uh, was in the air, he's only going to do wind. So yeah. Last but not least, also a very strong attack is his special. Why? Really long range. As you can see, he's making a copy. Kawarimi no Jitsu. Um, or no, Kagabushi no Jitsu. I gotta say it right. And he's using um, yeah all sorts of attacks basically to... Uh, uh, keep on attacking, but because it's such a long distance you really draw someone in and After you do it you can always do Kamui and pick him up again and you can use uh, Raiki to Try and pick him up again. You have to make sure that he doesn't get any in invisibility frames Yeah, and last but not least and then I'm <laughs> done with the tutorial because I've been talking for quite a long while the um, the range for his normal attacks is also pretty good. He's doing normal, normal, and because he's using his feet, he can really hit him from quite a distance. So it's it's one of those characters that is just really easy to use, in my opinion. Um, yeah, all in all, like I said, it's the best character that I own. And uh, yeah, I wanted to show you all how he's doing in PvP. Because I'm uh, pretty confident that he can do a really good job. So we're going to do that right now. So I'm starting up a PvP match just to show you how he plays. I'm not going to talk a lot because I have to focus and try and win this. As you can see the combos keep on going. And you can see that I'm moving him around and around. And Dira I can't really get away here. See, and I trapped him with Kamui. And he was quite a distance, he was running away from me. I can use his Araiki. And there we go, Dira defeated. So yeah, just a small example. Let's see if we can keep going. He's really annoying one to fight, but yeah, I just stunned him and I got him with Kamui anyways. Now I don't know where I am, there we go. And he already uses Kawarimi I think, so I can keep on doing this attack. And I can use my Raiki and keep on pushing him. Now you don't want to use your special just yet, because that way you are going to use the lock attack. Maybe this is enough? Yeah, he's going to try and teleport out of it. I still trapped him. Okay, I couldn't really see where he was. I think we got him. Yeah. So that's two in one. Going uh, pretty good so far. Totemory, long distance. 
Okay, that was a mistake. I tried to turn around and do the move, but it didn't really work out. See, he, he tries to get away. Okay, I was thinking that because I landed behind him, that I was going to be able to attack him. But because Tamari has the wind, she uses her fan and she still hit me a little from behind. See? That's it. 3 and 1. So yeah, as you can see, he is a very powerful PvP character. He's really good. Um, you can summon for him right now. And you can also try and get the masked man that way as well. Um, that's what I'm doing. I went ahead and I uh, summoned for this event to try and get masked man and Kakashi. Uh, unfortunately, I don't have him yet. I spent 30,000 orbs, or uh, orbs, sorry, gold. <laughs> I just uh, did a bleach uh, bracelets video as well. And I'm almost there. So yeah, I almost have my first S rank character as well. I'm not going to summon on it just yet. I'm going to wait until new A rank characters come out because when they come out, the S rank is also still available. So yeah, I get the feeling that uh, because I already have both of the A ranks that are in this um, yeah, banner or summon or something like that, I uh, don't really benefit from just doing all on this banner, but waiting for the A rank is a smart thing to do. Really hoping Naruto comes out. So yeah. Well, that's it for this video. I hope you all enjoyed it. Uh, I think you all saw that he's a pretty powerful character and I hope you all can get him as well. I'm Shiro, signing off. Bye-bye.